Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do a flyer on one of your listings. So if I go to new listings or new leads, that gets me into the E edge. Once I get into the E edge, I'm going to go to market my listings. Um, listings, market my listings. Okay, and then I'm going to select one. Now I have a pro account, so it gives me a couple extra little things there. So let's say I'm going to do a flyer for uh, Hazel Loop. I hit um, that little button there. And it'll pull up all the different designs that you can use. Now we use the same design for every home. Uh, so that's called vertical integration. So we love, love, love vertical integration. So I've selected this flyer. This is our flyer. And then where it says choose a listing, I start typing the address. The address should automatically pop up. I'll click personalize. And then uh, it should autofill the flyer with all the information. Now, the only thing you really need to make sure that you get is this section right here. Sometimes it will, um, it will overlap. So I'm just going to move that up just a tad so uh, it still looks good. Everything looks great there. I'm going to save it. Okay, and then I'm going to call it, um, we do that, so it'll show up on the front, Hazel Loop. So I put the 01 in front of it so that when I go to my, um, my designs, that one will show up first and it won't be in all the other, other ones. So I hit Save. Once I click save, then the PDF button will show up. Oh, got to hit exit first. All right, now it says download PDF. If you want to have uh, Shutterfly or whoever they're using now to print the flyers for you and, email, or, uh, and mail them to you, you can do that. Uh, they're 55 cents a piece when you do this. I think if you order more, the price goes down a little bit. Yeah, not much. So that does not include shipping. So that's a little bit on the expensive side. Okay. So what I'm going to do is click download a PDF. And I'm going to save this to our files. So I'm going to go into my documents. And then I'll create a new one called Hazel Loop. So I always have it. Oh, Hazel Loop's already there. So, um, okay, if I knew my alphabet better, this would go quicker. Hazel Loop. Click on Hazel Loop. Put that in there. Um, and now all I have to do is print it. Okay, so then I just pull it up on my PDF, print it to whatever printer I want. I can put it on whatever paper I want, so on and so forth. Okay, any questions, please let me know. Thanks.